What is good, YouTube? This is your boy. Yes, sir. This is your boy, Dino. Come back to another video today, man. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it ain't. I got a lot of requests for this video right here, man. I got a lot of requests for this video because I am top three, if not the best ISO guard on Xbox. You feel me? I do run the 1v1 court in the stage. I'm basically the only guard, if not like me and two other guards run the 1v1 court on Xbox now. You feel me? So I got a high request because I am a guard... That kills centers on the one real court, man. And everybody keep asking me, yo, Dino, how do you stop these centers? What is your tricks? How do you pull the chair? As you can see, man, I won Rush already. In my stream, if y'all don't know, I played Rush for only two hours. I played it from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. I won it five times in a row. I won I won 21 games straight. I was playing centers, guards. I'm pretty sure y'all don't need I, I'm pretty sure y'all don't need a tutorial on how to guard guards on one real court as a guard. But if y'all do, y'all let me know in the comment section. But right here, this game right here is gonna perfectly show the tips and tricks on how to guard a center on one real court. He's not the best center, obviously, I've played, but it this game does show everything you need to do to stop a center on the one v one court. As I can see, though, the first possession, he did get bailed, man. I did make him pick up the ball, but he ended up making the fade. 2K bailed him out, simple like that. The two badges y'all are going to need, the two badges y'all going to need to play against centers on the one real court. It's pretty much mandatory. If you're offensive threat with one defensive badge, you can say goodbye because it's going to be very hard for you to get stops on the defensive end on the one real court, man, simple like that. Now, the two badges I do recommend on the one real court as a guard, I have Gold Intimidator, and I have silver clamps. Silver clamps, when you run into a, a, a build that has low ball handling, that doesn't have uh, dribble badges or whatever, that's not supposed to be handling the ball, it forces them to pick up the ball pretty much almost every time you bump into them, man. That's pretty much the key, the guarding centers. Why do you think they hold LT as soon as they catch the ball in the paint, man? But as you can see, I am selling the game right here. I started playing kind of bad. I, I, I mean, I won the event like four times, so I'm not in my bag right now. But defensively, I'm still there, you feel me? He get a 6-0 lead on me. Now, what you want to do as a defender on the center, you want to try to make him pick up the ball. Obviously, I made him pick up the ball three times already. I made him pick up the ball three times. Now, if you can't get them to pick up the ball, if they go into the post, you're going to want to try to pull the chair. Pulling the chair is like, it's not a guaranteed turnover, but a lot of times, they will end up dropping the ball or losing the ball out of bounds, man. That animation right there is amazing. Yeah, you might want to listen to these tips because as you can see, man, I'm playing against a center. A lot of guards that play against centers on NBA 2K20, in NBA 2K20, when they, when they lose the ball, if you give the center the ball, nine times out of ten, they don't touch the ball no more. You feel me? They can't get stops. All they could do is resort to spamming in the post. Now, the key to guarding the post, another key um, thing to do here, if they do a lot of drop steps, a lot of spin moves, this year, it's not like NBA 2K19 where they move you out the way. I mean, post scores is overpowered last year. After three layups, they will get takeover, pretty much throw you out the way. This year is not the case. They got to get like five, six layups for them to get badged. But a lot of people don't run post scores on the one-on-one court anymore. But the same, it, 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 it's a lot easier to guard this year, you feel me? Now, if they do catch the ball in a post and they do drop step you, as soon as they drop step you, you want to spam X. Simple. You want to spam X. And let me tell you why. Because if you're going to get the animation sometimes where... Yo dude's gonna poke the ball. Now, 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 you might get a foul here and there. Listen, you might get a foul here and there, but you're gonna poke the ball and it's gonna run off their leg and go out of bounds. You're gonna get a lot of uh, animations like that where you still gonna bump off them and go out of bounds. That's how it is this year. Now, the key on offense is centers this year, they really don't wanna play defense. They really don't wanna play defense. A lot of them, they, 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 they like, they, you, as you can see, he's sitting paint. He hopes, he's hoping 2K is make, gonna make him miss wide open. I'm a slash and playmaker. He doesn't think I can shoot the ball. So he's just praying that I, I just missed a shot. You feel me? He's not gonna try to play defense. They can't guard you. They can't guard us this year, guys. Sanders cannot guard us this year. If they play up, we're gonna go blow past them. We're gonna hop step. We're gonna dunk the ball. We're gonna baseline dunk the ball. Something like that. So just make sure you hit your shots. Every game, you're not gonna hit your shots, man. But that is the key to playing against the center. As you can see, bro, as soon as he plays up and try to contest my jump, I just blow right past him, man. So the best bet for them is to sit paint. That's why the majority of them do sit paint. And that's pretty much the key to the playing centers this year, man. 2K made me miss a shot right there. It's 18-12. I got to figure out how to get a defensive stop. If you do end up missing a shot and the center do get the ball, bro, do, 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 not, try, do not let them clear the ball. Try not to let them clear the ball, but don't foul them, you feel me? You don't want them to, to reset the possession. What I mean reset the possession is... Yo, dude, checking up the ball at the top of the key for them to go into LT. No, make them get that rebound, 
and make them clear, run up there and clear the ball and make them try to run back to the paint as as you clear time off the shot clock, man. The longer they take clearing the ball, the, the less time they have, you know, posting you up and trying to cheese you in the paint, bro. And that's just my knowledge to play in the one-roll court, man. It's just a mind game. You just got to know what you can and can't do, bro. I mean, it's just simple like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad I helped you a lot on, on the tips and tricks on this video here. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like button. If y'all do need that guard versus guard 1v1 like tips, like I said, man, I can help y'all out. Y'all let me know in the comment section. But it would mean a lot if y'all subscribe to my channel, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, but make sure you hit that like button because it does help out the channel a lot. And with further ado, man, you already know I'm dropping them beggars. Your boy d is out. Lucas. It's funny how now she be calling me back She see that I got it, I'm stuck in the trap 40 autos, let me put it right back 40 autos and he left in the back I can't be trusting cause people just act I get the money, I run it right back The plug on my phone, I get to these backs